okay, what I want to look at is how I use the genealogy to help inform people in my team, as well as uh, even uh, recruit uh, people that maybe have uh, stopped working SFI. Now, Iman gave me a letter that uh, was designed for people that come up on their anniversary and uh, then have not logged on to SFI since the changes uh, in September uh, 2021. So I want to talk about how we could communicate with specifically that group of people in a way that might re-engage them in the SFI business. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and then we're going to go step by step what we're doing. Let's start by looking at our screen here. I hope you can see that, um, but I'm gonna start over here at SFI here. Now, I'm logged onto my SFI account, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the genealogy. The genealogy is right here. Once I get in the genealogy, we're going to make a selection that will reduce the number of people we're going to look at. So let's go to the genealogy. Here we are in the genealogy. And I wanna look up here. And here I have made a selection. The last log on is before 9-1-2021. So this last log on they ever had are people who last logged on before those changes that occurred last September here in SFI. And I limited it to generation one because I wanna work with my personal PSAs that I've recruited. When I do that, I end up with a subset of my generation one here. And I can click this little mailbox right here, send an email or a team mail to this group of 842 affiliates. When I click that, it's gonna open up the opportunity to send a mail to them. And that's where, such as when uh, you sent me the letter Iman, that's where Iman's letter could go into uh, this mailer and be sent to each and every one of those affiliates. Now, something that's important and valuable, if they reply to your letter, it's gonna come back to you. So you don't have to worry, you're, you're going to be dialoguing directly with your PSAs, you're just using the SFI mailing program to do it. So this is a very good thing. But notice here on the filters is all kinds of filters and I chose the last time they logged on being before September 1, 2021. But you could look people up by email address, by the date they joined, and many, many other things. Now, in Iman's letter, I noticed that uh, your letter, Iman, uh, is directed towards people on their anniversary. So maybe you were thinking of sending the letter out to everybody whose anniversary was in February. Um, or maybe next month you'd do the same thing with everybody's anniversary in March. You can do that and you can figure that out. I think there's a better way to communicate with people on their anniversary and I'll show you that just in just a second. But I think it's a really good idea and an excellent idea in your letter, Iman, where uh, if I select people that have yet to see the new SFI and send them a specific letter inviting them back to take another look, uh, that's a good opportunity. But again, once I've done this, I click this button here and it's going to bring up it's going to bring up a blank uh, screen in which I can put in my email. Uh, I think because I'm on Zoom, it says, please move this window away from the shared application. So I think with Zoom, it's just not letting me do it just at the moment. Oh, there it is. It, it came up. But that's what's going to happen. A little form in which you can input uh, your email. Now, this is another very valuable thing. In that form, at the bottom of that form, if you look at the bottom of that form, you will see an opportunity, a drop down that provides the subject line or the email of previous emails you have sent out. So if you wrote an email specifically for a group of people, say people's, like we were talking, whose anniversary is in February, then in March, you could select that same letter again from the dropdown and you don't have to rebuild it or rewrite it or cut and paste it from somewhere else. You just 
so you make a different selection, people whose anniversaries are in March, and then you select that email to go out to them. But as I said, I really like this idea, Iman, and I think you remove that anniversary line in your letter, but the rest of the letter looks really good, and you send it out to everyone whose last log on occurred before September 1. And that'll help expose every one of them to the new SFI and encourage them to come back. It's a great, great email, Iman, so you should do that, and it will be very valuable. But it doesn't have to necessarily be their anniversary. Now, I want to talk about anniversary just for a second. Here at your news and alerts, whenever it's somebody's anniversary, the day of their anniversary, there'll be a little news alert right here that says so-and-so's anniversary and a little arrow. If you click that arrow, and I chose, I don't have any at the moment, but I have one coming up soon. So I went into my genealogy, found that person, and I, and I did that. You click that arrow and this screen comes up and you can see that their anniversary date is March 16th. So it's actually next month. But I just want to use this as an example of what you would do if their anniversary were today. Uh, this immediately tells me, this red tells me the last time they logged on. So I know that this person has not logged on since March 12th of 2021. So they've never seen the new SFI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them an anniversary. I drop this down. I select anniversary postcard and I click initiate. When, when I click initiate, I'm going to see, let's do it. I, I, I'm going to see all the various cards that I can choose. And I'm going to choose one of the anniversary cards, this one right here. Excuse me. Now, this anniversary card will go out to her. Now, I can put in, like right here, it says you can say hi, first name, and you can select uh, first name right here and put it in there and print it out. I don't do that because, and I'll explain in a second, I save this email because I use I, I communicate with everybody who, who experience an anniversary. I might make a couple changes to the email, but I use essentially the same email. And you can see when this window open, my email is already here. And it starts off, this is your SFI anniversary. So you can see that I've got an email saved in there that'll come up every single time I send a postcard. Now, I put their dear first name right here and it shows up down here in the letter. If I put it here, and I'll just stick it in here so you can see how it looks, A, N, E, N, E. If I put it there, then their name shows up here on the postcard. But again, this is never saved. This little phrase here is never saved. So every time I open this, I have to type in again, first name, first name, first name, every single time. Whereas if I put it like this, dear first name right there, every time I open it, that's going to be there, and it's going to be there, the name of the person that I'm sending the card to. Here is the card. And I say, this is your SFI anniversary. You've not engaged in a long time in SFI. SFI went through a complete relaunch on September 1. Come see the great improvements. And then I go on to say a few other things, uh, which you can put together on your own. And then I save as a default um, the, I save as a default this letter and I just click save as default and then every single time I open up the postcard this is the letter that will come up okay now I come down here I agree to send this letter and then I send the message and the person gets a postcard again if they respond to that postcard that will be an email that goes directly to you so this is a good tool to use and then you can actually send it out each and every day that is their anniversary if you've saved it as a default, you don't have to change anything. You just send out the letter over and over again every single time someone has an anniversary. Now, one thing I want to look at here is at the bottom of this here, you say, um, I have it here. It says, are you engaged in something else successfully? Are you in a better place this year than last? I hope so. If you are no closer to your financial goals, then perhaps you should re-engage with SFI. And basically I say, follow my lead, follow the steps I have taken and you will achieve the success I have achieved. Here is my step-by-step -step guide to SFI. And then there's this link right here. If they go to this link, 
this is going to bring up this page. If they come to this page, discover how anyone can grow a second income online free day by day, step by step training. They give me their first name, last name, email, and their SS, SFI ID. This way, I can customize the letters I sent to them to include their SFI ID in any links or anything like that that I might send out to them. That's why I collect the SFI ID. When they click submit, they are going to become a subscriber to this list of emails. Platinum training day one, day two, three, four, five, and so forth. This is what I provide to all my affiliates when they join me in SFI. Not everybody takes advantage of this. This is a choice they make to either take advantage of it or not to. Not everyone does. But I try to make it available to every single one of my new PSAs, and I always make it available to them on their anniversary if they want to start again. Then they're going to be on my uh, Traffic Wave subscriber list here, and they're going to get these emails in order. I don't have to send them. I don't have to do anything. The only thing required is that they filled out this, this here. They get an email. When they receive that email, they confirm that they want to be receiving the, the uh, training, and they're on this list. On day, let's, let me just move my face out of the way here for a second. This is the first email, the second email. The first email goes out on auto, which means it goes out automatically as soon as they sign up. So they'll get this email the very first day they sign up. Then this goes out one day after they sign up, two days after they sign up, three days after they sign up, four days after they sign up, and so forth and so on. Now, you'll see I have nine days of training, and that's what I started with, just nine days of training. Uh, and, you know, people benefited from that. But then people began, they would ask me a question. I would say, you know, this is a good question, and I think everybody needs to know the answer. So I would wrote additional emails that they, that I sent out to them after my nine days of training were over. I sent out additional emails with other types of information or maybe something new or something interesting that I was doing. So that I'm engaging these affiliates that join. And you can see from all these green dots, these green dots indicate a couple of different things, but they indicate people are engaging with these letters. People are opening them. People are reading them. People are clicking them. And those green dots help me to track how well these uh, emails are doing. So this is uh, how I keep them informed. And this is how I use Traffic Wave to, you know, I don't have to send these emails out every time. I don't have to find these emails. I don't have to rewrite these emails. How many questions have you answered 15 times that you rewrote the email every single time? When I get a question that I get asked, I add it to this group and I put the answer here. And that way, everyone can get the information. Anyone else with a similar question can get it. So I just wanted to pass this on to you exactly what I do and how I do it and uh, how I build my list here in Traffic Wave and how I help my affiliates to learn step-by-step, day-by-day, what I'm doing. This is not theory, this is not an idea, this is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm succeeding in SFI. So I hope this is helpful, and I hope that uh, we would be able to work well together and to continue our relationship together. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen, and I'm going to say goodnight.